Samantha and Lee, and these are our top five announcements this week for First Star Life. Number five. It's time for our spring cleaning. This is church-wide event will be held on May 9th and includes the indoor and outdoor cleaning. So we need your help. You can sign up by filling out the answer in your bulletin. For questions, contact Chris and Lee. Number four. Got character? Fourth grade character camp does. Join us Friday, May 1st from 6 to 9 as we discover how to follow Christ and show His love through our actions and qualities. The cost is free. Just bring a snack to share. RSVP to Stephanie Lushner by April 30th. Number three. Senior Sunday is May 31st. We need every senior and their families to RSVP if they are coming to breakfast at 9.45 a.m. in Family Life Center. Seniors, do not forget to make your trifold board to put out in the narthex during Sunday morning services. See Allison for more details. Number two. This is the youth parent meeting May 3rd at 6.30 p.m. in the sanctuary. We will discuss the summer schedule and how the youth will need your help this summer. We would like for all youth parents to be there, so don't miss out. Our number one announcement is... To celebrate the 75th anniversary of the United Methodist Church Committee on Relief, every church in the North Texas Conference is invited to collect health kits and turn them into the annual conference. Our goal as a conference is to reach 7,500 kits. So that means our church's goal is 300 kits. Please see the insert in your bulletin for more information. And now watch this video. We are called to a great number of responsibilities, but who are we actually called to be? For 75 years, UMCOR has been called to be the hands and feet of Christ to a world weary with suffering and in need of hope. Founded in 1940 as a small committee whose goal was to respond to the widespread human suffering experienced in World War II, UMCOR, the United Methodist Committee on Relief, became the new voice of conscience among Methodists in responding to such hardships. Without distinction of race, color, creed, or gender, UMCOR was created to provide hope and care to grief-stricken areas around the world from the steadfast belief that all people have God-given worth and dignity. The United Methodist Committee on Relief was made a permanent fixture in 1972 and expanded its scope to provide disaster relief not only to countries overseas but at home in the U.S. as well. Through donations of money, time, skill and prayer, United Methodists have supported UMCOR in its work of witnessing for peace, restoring lives, addressing injustice and joining with others to build a sustainable future for a multitude of people in need. From Central America to Africa, to Japan, to Afghanistan, and in the United States, UMCOR has partnered with organizations all over the globe to provide aid to those affected by earthquakes, famine, floods, tsunamis, civil strife, hunger, poverty, and countless other devastating circumstances. And today, the amazing hands of UMCOR reach lives in over 80 countries worldwide partnering to provide hope and help in many different ways. And those are our high five. Have a wonderful week.